Hey guys, what is up? What is up? The Hill Twins are guys, here we're with here. another video. video for you guys today. So, and this one, without further ado, yes. let's jump right into it. Okay, <clears throat> so I have the Android 17 and 18 liter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an anticipated deck profile that a lot of our fans and uh, co Dragon Ball Superers or whatever have been asking for it. So, this is our take on it. So on the first side, Android 17 uh, reduces the cost of all your Androids by one, extremely important. And two, this card can awaken while you're at six life. When you awaken, however, now it becomes Android 17 and 18, so it gets the inclusion of 18. And uh, when it attacks, it draws a card standard and also reduces the uh, cost of your Androids. Yep. And it pumps your 17 and 18s by 5K. Nice. Right? So that's that. So I start off with one, two, three, four. Four newfound power Sun Gohan. Now this card, it's a green crit. And what it does is it allows me to fix my life. Because she awakens at six, sometimes my opponent may be scarce and attacking me uh, so that I don't net an uh, early game advantage due to my draws. Yep. So this helps me awaken myself, but ultimately this helps me fix my life for another card that I use to awaken myself later on in the world. I run three, Dustin D. Krillin. Now, a lot of people don't run the free blockers in the deck. This is because this is a preemptive strategy against Storm. Storm is a extremely powerful number deck. Number one deck in the format. And the it is the number one deck in the format. And this stops their little mirror plays. Yep. Okay? So being able to establish this makes sure that they cannot beat you by mirror. And you can use your defensive uh, tactics to pick off their weenies on the board. So by having this, you just feel very, very safe. And you get to make it to your three light energy and ultimately change the tide of the game. So yep. I run three of these. Okay? You know, it's it's not a staple entirely, but it's important it's that you see that we preemptively yes. using. Now, I want run four Stout Heart Android 16. A lot of people do the 2-2 two -two split. I like this because basically I'm focusing on the theme of the deck. Correct. The, the goal is to make sure that I can uh, drop your hand and put you to zero or something very close to that. A lot of people are running mix or not running this at all. That's not my take on it. I run it literally because... The card is fantastic, and yeah. you're going to see why. And I'm going to go over, as we continue, Sorry, some of the actual <coughs> problems with the deck. I run three, Martial Art Tian Shenhan. Now, mm -hmm. this card is ancient. A lot of people don't run it. A lot of people... <coughs> A lot of people don't run it. A lot of people think that it's bad because of Storm. A lot of people think that it's outdated. This is actually not outdated. Androids have a problem. They cannot awaken themselves. And if they cannot get to four life or lower, uh, they can't use their Stout Hearts. Correct. Stout Heart is the strongest play that you can make in this deck after Cell Chain. So you want to be able to have your four life or lower. If you can Cell Chain them with four life or lower and have access to Stout Hearts live, you can actually win the game after your cell chain. So it's yep. extremely important. A lot of players try to play around Star Heart by leaving you at five until they can amass a defense against it, okay? This one says, no, I'm gonna awaken, especially against slower decks. This just gives you way, 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 way advantage. Moving way forward. Way too much advantage. Yes, moving forward. Now I run the Android package and I'm gonna just keep it honest with you. I run four Limitless Energy uh, Android 17. This card is absolutely amazing. He's a blocker, a three drop in this deck, mm -hmm. and he has barrier, guys. Yep, he's a blocker, and barrier, and when you're at four life, he's a 25k blocker. This guy comes into play, and he gets to kill KO a card. So he's just really strong all around. Yep. A lot of people are running multiple different copies. I like this copy specifically because of the fact that he allows kill, which is something that this deck has problems with Correct. outside of the actual cell chain strategy. Okay? So I run this at four. <laughs> now the other Android 17s I run. And not to mention, um, you know, he's he's very important for the deck, but again, he's probably one of the main pieces that's gonna go under for the cell chain. Exactly. Now, if in fact he you know he does get dropped, that means that you're gonna have a more aggressive game. But again, we are primarily trying to use the cell chain and dropping the more favorable Android, which is actually going to be yes. the top one, the blocker barrier, because he's able to actually pop a card and he's able to block as well. Yes. So. Moving forward, we run four deadly duo Android 
18. Yeah, now, this one so is good. literally <clears throat> the best Android 18, in my opinion. She's a 25k on the attack if you awaken, and she's a 20k on your opponent's turn. The deadly defenders get minus 5k, but she, the leader, supplements that 5k, so she becomes a 20k to drop. That basically protects your leader ext extremely strong against Storm and against a lot of other decks that try to push in combos like Shimron decks, etc. And a uh, very important attribute and the blocker attribute are very important attributes in this deck uh, because we can actually make those very dangerous towards our opponent. Yeah. Okay, so I run three or uh, four of these guys. Uh, sorry about that. Next, moving forward, we actually run three. Okay. Android uh, 18 Deadly Duo. Now, this is the one that I like to put under the actual combo. Uh, and the Sound Chain um, combo, I like to put it under as well. I will drop this because it does have critical. And the extra effect actually is good for certain shenanigans. But like I said, again, we want to make sure that we have seven of each target so we can be consistent Correct. in our Sound Chain. Okay? Moving forward, I run... Four perfect force sound. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, you know, guys, we know what he does when he comes into play. He drops your opponent's hand, literally. And obviously, behind that, I'm going to be running one, two, three, four. And obviously, behind that, I'm going to be running one, two, three, four. So, so this is your one. average cell chain pieces. These are the actual battle cards necessary to <laughs> evolving. I mean, well, Union Force. Um, you can absorb to get to this guy. So again, um, you make sure that you max out all of these because there are instances where you actually draw these and um, you want to draw him. But if you start drawing into these, it's really no good because it's, it becomes a big issue later on in the game. Yes. Now, also, moving forward, now a lot of people have actually, because sparkling is a thing, a lot of people have stopped running overarms at least and uh, we see a lot of these decks that don't run overruns, especially because this Android, this leader can be locked and the opponents um, wouldn't possibly don't have access to Stoutheart until the opponent wants you to have access to Stoutheart. Um, a lot of people have stopped running stuff like Dark Temptation Tower. A lot of people have stopped running cards like her. And the thing about her is that basically, because we have access to TN, we can actually awaken on turn three. We can be awakened by the time we turn sell chain two, you. Yeah. This and, yeah. So if we awaken by the time we sell chain you, we can possibly defeat you that turn. If you're at four life, we can actually possibly defeat you that turn. So <coughs> what we can actually do at that point is basically say, drop your hand down to three, do this, drop your hand down to two, and have access to live style hearts. Basically getting rid of your entire hand or largely your entire hand. Um, she's important because when, we're time to, when it's time to push, she comes into play, and she can also pump the leader as well as drop your cough in your opponent's hand. So that's why we play her over Mirror, even though Mirror's an Android. Okay. Lastly, we run extra card seven, and we run one, two, three, four. Shocking Death Ball. This card is absolutely amazing. It activates one energy that allows you to negate an attack and you get to remove or KO a card uh, on your opponent's side of the field with two energy costs or less. So especially strong against Storm, but against st strong against uh, decks that have a lot of weenies and important weenies on top of that. Also, the card has Sparking 5, which means that the card can be used for free if you take a life to your hand. So ultimately, you can be tapped out and you can take one life to end the game ending to negate a game-ending attack like Mirror or Triple Strike or what have you. And the last we won three, King Vegeta Surprise Attack. And now what this does is basically, this card says, one of your battle cards, it gains 10,000 power. power and revenge. For revenge is a, a extremely strong keyword for the, turn. for the duration of the turn. So when you pair this with this, or pair this with this blocker, or pair this with even this little weenie blocker, you basically have pseudo KO. Now, this is extremely good because our opponents, especially in the mirror match, they may be attacking with cards like this to have barrier, cards like this to have barrier, cards like um, 
SSB, ours, and, and um, intimidating um, or any Dunny the Gino defenders, or yeah. any other Dunny defenders. And this allows you to get past big jumps as well. They attack in, you block and place that. This card dies, but you was able to KO. If you wanted wrong. to die, actually. If you wanted to. <laughs> now he so ultimately, um, this is the list. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, a few special shout outs to uh, our sponsors over at Ultra Pro. Um, as you guys can see, we have these pretty cool Ooh. Ultra Pro mats. These yes. are very, very beautiful mats. And we also have um, some sleeves for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of um, the type of sleeves that they have. So um, these are pretty dope. We also got these. And we will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you like this video. Yes. Um, like this video. And we comment. got some sleeves for you guys. No one is playing these. As you can see, these ones are... The yeah, these are actually not my new favorite sleeves. Yeah, but what really... we want you guys to do to be a part of the giveaway mm -hmm. is literally like the video and comment your favorite Ultra Pro sleeves that we, hear, that we have here. So yes. if you like the Sun Goku, if you like the Vegeta, and if you like the father, father and son we're gonna raffle away two sleeves to two lucky winners the two most highest votes though all uh, will be the ones that are given away correct uh so ultimately <clears throat> if you want to be entered in all you have to do is like the video comment your favorite sleeves mm -hmm. your and favorite ultra, ultra pro ultra sleeves pro. and hashtag ultra pro all okay, right guys? guys and um yep so like i said comment hashtag ultra pro and um uh, the color, not the color sleeves, the actual um, sleeve, the content of sleeves. So go to <coughs> hey Vegeta guys, also, or yes. Father, Son, Goku. We will put a link in the description if you want to get some awesome UP gear on your own. Um, As always, guys, stay, stay suited. Bam, 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 bam. I blow a bad today. I don't do nothing for gay. I blow the bad today. Walking the mall and go crazy. I blow a bag, hey. How about a whip on a baby?